Evening, ladies and gentlemen, it's 6 p.m. Town board meeting is called to order for Tuesday, July 9th, 2019. Town of Grand Rapids Municipal Building, 2410 48 Street South. Here to rise with me and say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Item two is to approve the agenda for the meeting. Hearing nothing, I would like to move item six up to uh, the uh, next agenda item so we can get these people going. It's the open bids for uh, open and possible bid awards for Balsam Circle Trip Project. That's a tr project that we're, we have some state funding on. First bit that I'm going to open up is American Asphalt. Uh, American Asphalt's bid is $18,232.30. Would you repeat that? $18,232 and 30 cents. Everything is there in the insurance form. And the next one is Wood County Highway. Highway submits the following bid total fourteen thousand three nineteen and thirty five cents. Okay, we, we need to check is that ten percent less? It's at least it's over ten percent less, yes. All right, then we there'd be an order to uh, accept the Wood County Highway's bid. I'll make a motion on you. Dan, second, second by Andrew. Yep. Any questions? Um, they are apples to apples. As far as fit to the bids of the specifications, yes. They're all special. Okay. Is our road crew going to be involved with the county doing it? Are they going to do some prep work or something we like that? We can talk about that, but that's not the item where I'm going. I, I'll catch up, yes, but. Well, I mean, no, I would not. think that would be okay for us to discuss well, we, it now only because of the fact that that mm -hmm. would make a difference in the in the total dollar no no it doesn't no. because no. because the work was actually already done and okay. that was to pull the trees out of there oh I see. so the question okay. was yes we did some work for it but we just pulled the trees out that's all we're doing but we would have did it for either one either one of them okay, okay. i see where we're going with all right any other questions hearing none all in favor of accepting wood county's bids signify by saying aye aye aye, aye. And aye. any opposed no opposed thank you to all Thanks, for Arnie. Thank i appreciate you your bid now thank you talk to you soon you bet Thank you. All right, we'll go back to uh, item three is approve the minutes of June 11th and June 21st town board meetings. I'll make a motion to approve June 11th and June 21st town board meetings. Andrew, second. Patty. Patty, any discussion? Hearing none, all favor say aye. Aye. I'm an aye, any opposed? Public uh, comment period. Uh, people who wish you to address the board on any items or any other Items they wish to talk about, limited to two minutes each. Public comment period will not exceed 30 minutes. Anybody in the audience wish to speak? Shirley? Yeah. Uh, the reassessment that's going on right now, yep. are we going to be notified? Uh, because well, they're just going to come and knock on our door. That's what they're doing right now. So if we, you know, if, if people aren't home, are they, how, how are they going to be fairly reassessing every, everything? Well, if, if, you know, if you're not allowed to go in the house. Can't talk about it. Well, I understand, but I'll answer your question when it's time for the, the board. I, it's not something we should do. It's just your comments coming to us right now. I understand well, your comment, and I'll give you an answer when I can. All right. Yet tonight. Anybody else wish to speak on any items? There are none. We'll move on to uh, reports. First uh, will be the fire department, uh, Robert Pyatt. Uh, Bob is asked to be excused right after his report. Good evening. Good evening. 
Uh, we're currently staffed with 45 fire EMS members, two non-structural firefighters in that crew, six EMS members with a total of 24 members though trained with EMS credentials. We're always looking for uh, people interested in firefighting and EMS, if so, contact the fire department or the town hall here. Since the last report to the board, the department has responded to 35 calls for service compared to 44 at the same time last year. Last year, this period in 2018, we had 17 fire and 27 EMS. That's a 0% change in EMS and a 47% decrease in fire calls. This month consisted of 27 EMS calls and then eight calls for service on the fire side consisting of uh, two mutual aids with Wisconsin Rapids Fire, uh, one power line call, four car accidents, and one debris fire. So last month our training was uh, for EMS was Project Lifesaver. Uh, the fire side, while the mills were down, we went down to Verso. Uh, our evening one ended up being a real fire. We were there for four hours. <laughs> so uh, that was our evening training. Anyways, uh, we held one department meeting, monthly department meeting, one department officer meeting, two training meetings, an EMS training, and uh, our smoke detector program is still going. Our address sign program is going good. We've been getting a lot of orders for those, and there have been no injuries since our last report. Any questions? Any questions? Concerns? Bill? Yeah, yes, thank you. Um, and I, I, I hope this isn't asking too much. But like you said, we had, uh, what, 35 calls this since the last report? Do you get a call from the town of Grant and from the town of Saratoga? Can you distinguish those for us, or is that asking too much? I, I mean, can. these weren't 35 just from the town of Grand Rapids. I, I'd kind of like to know where... Yeah, the, obviously the 27 EMS calls were all Grand Rapids. Once in a blue moon, we'll get paged out into to uh, town of Grant for mutual aid for EMS there. But uh, the eight calls there, obviously two were with the city. Two of those car accidents I know were in Saratoga. Um, I can't recall where the power line was. The debris fire was technically in Grant. It was it was that unattended debris fire at the Kiwanis Club, so that was technically town of Grant. So, but I can start if you want. I can start classifying them by township. And then one more follow up. So is this the same thing as um, an EMS call? Is it first responders? Right. Yes. yes. That's that's the same thing. Yes. And Saratoga right. has their own first responders. Right. And, and so does Grand. Grand. And so does Grand. Yeah, we only do only oh, okay. usually only do medical in the town of Grand Rapids proper. Oh, okay. Fire we do Saratoga Grand and I just like Grand. to see if it's not too much trouble with Okay. That's okay. It. Thank you. Okay. And then I just wanted to know if you had um, the fireman's picnic revenue. Um, uh, it was so fairly fine. close to last year. We're probably going to make just a tick less than last year, but we still it was well worth our well worth our effort. So there's still a couple of there's two two third three bills we got to pay yet. Okay. And then within a week or two we should have some final numbers. Okay. Cool. It, it usually takes thirty at least sixty days before all everything washes Comes out. Through. Yeah. All those beer bills and beer credits. Well, yeah, because the, yeah, because the beer gets bought through the Lions Club, and then they have to wait till they get a bill, and then they submit the bills to us, and okay. and uh, there's still one bill that we just paid for the kitty rides, and um, one other incidental bill came. I can't remember what it was. Came in just the other day. So, but I think it'll come close. Up. It'll come close to that ten thousand dollar number, isn't it? Isn't that yeah, that's around that number. Yeah, it, it should be right around the ten thousand yeah. mark. Yep. Okay. Good. Thank you. Any other questions? If not, thank you. You may skedaddle if you need to. Okay, thank you. Okay, we'll move to the police department uh, monthly report. Chief Mel Peterson. Okay, good evening, everyone. Good evening. Okay, the Grand Rapids Police Department handled 408 calls for service during the month of June. Uh, that compared to 377 calls for service last year uh, during the month of uh, June, and that's a 8.2 percent in increase in calls. The uh, uh, the town board members should have breakdown of those of those calls. And the police department issued 45 traffic citations, 18 municipal ordinance citations, and 37 written warnings for the month of June. 
At the halfway point now for the first six months of 2019, uh, the police department handled 2,398 calls for service, which compares to 2,180 calls for service during the first six months of 2018. That's about a 10% increase in, in calls. The Grand Rapids Police Department would like to welcome Officer Chris Stoner to our part-time officer ranks. Officer Stoner was sworn in on June 19th and I'd like to welcome him aboard. If uh, you're around and see him, uh, we'd be happy to uh, uh, have a warm welcome. Officers of the Grand Rapids Police Department conducted our uh, handgun qualifications at the Mid-State Technical College range on June 26th. All officers have completed the annual 24-hour mandatory minimum recertification training requirements as prescribed by the Wisconsin Department of Justice uh, Training and Standards Bureau. The Grand Rapids Auxiliary assisted with the ninth annual Renaissance Race Against Cancer 5K Run Walk on June 8th. They assisted with traffic control and uh, uh, along our portion of the route that went through uh, the town of Grand Rapids. They also assisted with the Cranberry Blossom Festival Carnival, June 21st through the 23rd, which was held on town property along uh, Grove Avenue. Our new squad, the 2019 uh, Ford Explorer is pretty much finished and has put out on patrol. Uh, we're still waiting on the storage vault for the back and uh, we just had the graphics put on today. So uh, uh, we have the graphics installed uh, as well. Uh, the remaining vehicles in the department are doing well outside of normal preventive maintenance. And as always, feel free to stop by anytime you have any questions or concerns or suggestions. Any questions? Hey. Hi. Um, I was just wondering how the carnival went um, because um, we had approved that permit at our planning commission meeting and all of us had noted that it's been quite some time since the town of Grand Rapids was involved with a carnival yeah. so we just wanted to know I, I would like to know or right. give a report and how that went uh, there was no major incidents I uh, would have been the Monday morning following uh, I talked with uh, our auxiliary uh, head of our auxiliary and there wasn't any issues the uh, Wisconsin Rapids also had auxiliary members oh. out there as well so uh, you know there was a, a physical presence out there and uh, to my knowledge there wasn't any any major issues pretty quiet okay. and then I have one more too okay. um, I just noticed when we were when you were talking about the comparisons between uh, 2018 and 2019 for your service calls it seems to your two major categories that you um, that seem to have a biggest increase was the ambulance and then the property protection um, you're assisting more um, are you like responding to the ambulance calls being there first or um, what kind of action if, are you taking if if there's an ambulance call where our first responders are called out okay, okay if we're not tied up on something else we also respond now you got to remember we have two officers that are I don't know I think they're EMTs yeah they are. Mm -hmm. and they both work part-time oh. for United okay so you know okay. having them on board and being able to respond you know if as long as we're not busy then we we tend to respond so uh, you know if if uh, our first responders are uh, are paged out we usually go to and we're more times out than none that we are first to arrive that's typically what I've seen too is that yeah. okay. they, they get on scene and especially yeah. if it's a uh, uh, not not breathing resuscitation needed we've got the kids yeah. in the cars yeah. Yeah. and very helpful usually for the ambulance I know when I worked for the police department um, we would get a lot of the medical information you work so close to the ambulance and you know what questions they're gonna ask mm -hmm. and we would go to training regularly with them so then we start getting those assessments uh, done and asking some of those pertinent questions um, that way if the person goes unconscious or something like that you've at least maybe got a baseline of maybe some allergies and you know some basic information that they're going to need right away to maybe administer medications or determine what's going on exactly. and then the property protection is that um, with telephone calls coming in 
or just patrolling subdivision neighborhoods? Both. Okay. Both. Where we in previous years, uh, the property protections we were doing were kind of they were being done, but they weren't being documented. Okay. So what I've tried to do is implement a, a system like the uh, home protections, for exact, for mm -hmm. example. Those weren't being recorded as incidents prior up until about three years ago when we started uh, cr them. created a, uh, a procedure that would document them. Okay, okay. And I understand then that. There's also an increased effort by the our night crew to check a lot of these businesses and stuff, yeah. and we're now documenting those where previously they were being done, mm -hmm. but they weren't really documented. So okay. that's why you see an increase in those. Uh, okay. were they it's not documented, you know, yeah. for re record keeping, but probably never happened to someone. Okay, I you know, thought- You've got to document it. Right, um, is that part of the safety check? Same, is that category safety check and property protection? Um, I just remember, I thought years ago it was called safety check, but I, I don't see I don't that know. category anymore. No. Okay, <laughs> thank you. That's property protection. Just to Anybody follow, else? I have one. Go ahead, Andrew. Just to follow up on Patty's question in regards to the carnival, were there any parking issues that you know of? I know there was some concern to that. Yeah, there were some concerns, that. but what we did is we put barricades across Grove Avenue just east of the entrance to the parking lot into the skating rink there and so people couldn't park along Grove Avenue down along the gravel portion okay. and that seemed to work out real well okay. uh, you know from the city standpoint I think they wanted the uh, the parking to be done in the uh, uh, high school parking lot uh, but I think what it ended up happening they ended up parking along uh, 16th oh. and you know so I don't know if they had any issues with it but that's when when I drove by there that seemed to be where they were parking set but uh, no other than that there was no uh, no parking issues okay. on the Grand Rapids portion of right it. Mm -hmm. okay that's good to know thank Bill, you yeah. you're probably a dumb question but uh, police officers, you, you don't carry non-car net for people who are out with drugs and stuff like that. Narcon? Yeah. Yes, no. they do. Yes, yeah. we do. Oh, We've you been do. carrying it for probably a couple years now. Yeah, Administrated. And, and, and you can. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, they're yeah. trained. All, all of them are trained. Yeah, yeah. We, uh, we report our saves <coughs> to uh, the uh, Wood County Drug Task Force. Uh, all the law enforcement agencies in, that are carrying in Wood County, and I think they all are now, uh, report back to the Wood County Drug Task Force because we get the uh, the Narcan through the Wood County Drug Task Force and it's not costing us anything, which is outstanding. A lot of agencies chose not to carry it because it was too costly and it, it, there's an expiration date on it. So we've been lucky enough through the Wood County Drug Task Force to get it free of charge for it, and we report it to them so that they can document it so when it comes up to, to get a new uh, uh, batch of, of Narcan to replace our expiring uh, bunch, then we can do that, so. Okay, thank you. Anybody else? I just uh, know that we lost one of our good part-timer, James, right? Uh, Andrew. 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 Andrew, yeah. that's what it was. Andrew, yeah. Oh, he's been gone for a while. Oh, he just started. <laughs> Not this one. Oh, that one, that one, yeah. Uh, did he start Andrew Mercus. Mercus, uh, did he left. go with the county? Is that yeah, where he, he got went it? over to the county. Oh, good uh, for him. Started there, I think, July 1st, so. Uh, yeah, he, uh, uh, that's, uh, Chris Donner is uh, kind of replacing him. Okay. So. I had him as a student at Mid-State, Chris. He's yeah. Do a really nice job. Yeah, he's, he'll, he'll work out great for us. So. All right, sounds good. All right. Thank you. Can I have a question? Yeah. Go ahead. How many uh, part wise the, uh, the Narcan have you ever administered? Oh, uh, I'd have to go back and check. Like I said, we since we started carrying almost, I think it's open almost two years ago now, uh, we probably had close to a dozen saves. I'd have to check with Wood County Drug Task Force, but 
it's it's been a significant number so interesting yeah, that's good thank you treasurer amy cook give us some good numbers right. some yeah. <laughs> good evening for the month of june current month receipts were eighteen thousand fifteen dollars current month disbursements were two hundred thirty three thousand three hundred dollars cash on hand at the end of the month was one million one hundred and eleven thousand five forty eight with a hundred and five thousand five fifty in checking and seven hundred ten thousand six forty six in the repo account three hundred twenty thousand five twenty twelve in the money market any questions uh, just one question. Do you know offhand how many uh, uh, permits for the uh, compost site have been issued this year? Quite a few. Um, I don't know off the no, top right of my head what it is. But I just kind of curious it how is, it compares to the lot, last yeah. year. Maybe we can put it. It's definitely more than last yeah. year because of all so, the storm damage. Yeah. I think, all right. Oh, just Anyone else? Questions. I was just wondering if you would be able to, at, you know, at the bottom of December, do a total a total line because there would be the total number of receipts to date versus total number of expenses. Okay, yep. Be it, you know, rather than me having to... See if we're good or bad? Yeah. That would be good if you... Anybody else, Bill? Yeah. On receipts, though, you know, because they come in practically quarterly, I, I think every month's report would be useless because if you're anticipating revenues coming in, yeah, because we have state aid that, or state road aid, which is yeah, approved right, us, right, that should be coming right. into us. Yeah, I think it'd be very difficult to do on a, on a monthly basis. But at the end, by it, it, right. it'll be there. Yeah, right, by yep. December. Right. So. Anybody else? Thank you, Amy. Item six we took care of. Item seven, consider a Yeah. Consider possible action on events to permit for a limitless cancer fight, 6K, and two mile obstacle course. I'll make a motion. August 4th. Oops. August 4th. I thought you were. I should have been. <laughs> I'll make a motion to approve the event permit for limitless cancer fight, 6K, and two mile obstacle course on August the 4th, 2019. I'll second it. Motion for bad. He's second by Dan. Any board discussion? Third on. A, uh, what? Insurance and all this. <laughs> it's in there. It should be in there. The catch of the yeah. no, We have it. I don't know why. I don't have it in the packet. It was received. Okay, we do have it yep. though. Do we have it though? All right, we thank do. you. Sorry about that. And Any other questions? The question was um, Bob did sign it, but he, I'm thinking no. he approved it. Yes. Oh, he yeah. missed the yes. Yeah. He okay. approved it. Yep. Okay. Anything else? All right. Um, all in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Item 8, consider possible action on adopting of the solar statement and application to become a soul smart designated community. Nick put this together for us. I'll make a motion that we approve the solar statement. Motion by Andrew. Is there a second? I'll second for old, for discussion. Go ahead on discussion. Anybody? And so, by approving this, what are your we technically are not binding us to any expenses, if that's anybody's concern. Mm -hmm. There's no. This is that first step in the process. This that we is the first to step do, right? to get in, so that if in some point in time. There's a piece of property that's large enough that a solar panel could go on, or even for that matter, some homes that wish to do this, because this also opens the town up to be able to um, use co ops to get people together that want to order solar panels and get them at a bulk price rather than a single price. It also gives us the ability to uh, uh, 
uh, attract electric companies that may be looking for solar arrays and generate some revenue off of the, the equipment for the town. Go ahead, Bill. My concern on this is that, you know, what do we have large acres? And, and, and I would say the city of Wisconsin Rapids owns many acres here. So does the Wood County owns 160 acres. But, but I don't want to see people cutting down trees to put in a solar system. Now, I know I'm on the water committee and things like that. And, and the fact that not so much in this area, but when, when you cut down a lot of trees, the water table goes up because your trees aren't taken. And I, I'm just afraid this will open up some vacant land that we have, large tracts of trees and woods and stuff like that. I'm not opposed to it because everything in here, we have solar ourselves and we went through the permitting <coughs> process. And those people that we hired to do that, you know, do all this, tell us how we can make, uh, how, how we can apply for, um, focus on energy, different grants and things like that, and then with credits we get back from the federal government or the state government, things like that. I just, I think it's what we need is, this is, looks like we should be hiring a grant writer. Oh. You know. No, I, I, I like can tell you that, that's, not, that's <laughs> not the intention. Of the, the, the process does uh, open the town up to receive up to five uh, site evaluations at no charge. In other words, if we were siting off our town dump, for example, or if we were siting off our town 40, for example, at some point in time, as we get credits for reviewing those videos and, and going through the steps, that opens up the possibility of the town to, to uh, have some sites available that could be fitted and generate some uh, either paybacks or leases to the property, lease, mm -hmm. the, lease the site to whoever it was. Land Energy is, is uh, up right now looking for sites. I know they're, they're doing a airport down in Watoma, around the airport. There's a lot of land there that's available. That type of stuff in there. You know. Now, whether we have this or whether we don't, is there anything preventing somebody from, if they own property, no. putting their property uh, they down? No, go through. Putting their got to go through everything. Got to go through our planning commission, just like yeah. any other thing. Okay. This letter doesn't change any of our steps. All it does is notify people that we are so smart if we're accepted. Once we get accepted, if we are, and then that opens up the free inspections, the free uh, utilizations to see if it's worth our time. But it would still, again, it would still go through the whole Absolutely. same process. It's got to go uh, through everything. There's nothing going to be changed in our ordinances that automatically says you could go. I, I'm voting for it, and, I, and I'm glad to see that and they've looked this over. Yeah. And we'll, we'll let us know that through the county and all that it's being promoted through the county. Yep. And for some We're the third largest municipality, and I, I, I think it's a good thing. Yeah, the city has been so smart for a couple of years now, and uh, in fact, we do it to them. Yep, yep. All right, if there's any other comments? Hearing none, we'll call for the vote. All in favor say aye. Aye. I have an aye. Any opposed? No folks. Thank you. Consider a possible action on town paying the monthly electric cost for a street light that would be installed at the intersection of 40th and Cough Drive. <coughs> You see the email that I, I passed on here to you a little while ago. Uh, basically, that's a, a very dark area uh, with all trees growing up all around it. So, and school bus, is, they do stop, make a stop there at that address. I did check with Wood, uh, Wisconsin Rapids Power and Light, Water and Light Commission. Uh, the pole that is there is sufficiently available to stick the light on. The light would be no cost to the town. The only cost would be the eleven dollars a month rent rent on the electricity. I'll make a motion that we approve the uh, cost of the of the electricity for the uh, light on fortieth and twelfth drive. Both second. Motion by Dan, second by Patty. Any discussion? Yes. Go ahead, Bill. I. You know, 
This is the third one we've approved now, will be approved. And I myself, or we, we, we have come in on 45th Street with a petition as called for. We've had residents here speaking about it. And it just seems funny that the last three that we put in, that if this one is approved, this would be the third one. They've all come to you. When we wanted one on 45th Street, we did accordance to the in accordance to what was supposed to be done with the ordinance pertaining to street lights in the town. You're, you're somewhat correct, Bill, but you're somewhat incorrect too because the uh, the ones on County Trunk Z came to the county first, Wood County Highway, and then Wood County Highway said met at a meeting and they approved them if the town would pay for the power. Well, that, that, that's not correct, Arnie. I know that. I know that the first person that come to you, and we got a letter from the guy that used to live in this town, who is an attorney that has 40 acres right there on that corner. He's yeah, the one that. But had I it. had him submit it to the county. All right. Any other discussion on it? You're not in all favor. Say aye. 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 Any opposed? Consider a possible action on town's wood trust credit card renewal rewards points. We're up to quite a bit, and what we did the last time was order uh, Home Depot uh, gift certificates, and then the maintenance and the fire department <coughs> used them up for supplies. I'll make a motion we do the same thing, the Home Depot card, and then uh, my understanding is that the receipts will be submitted yep. to Lisa mm -hmm. to just verify that it's for town purchases. Mm -hmm. No, sir. Motion to Andrew, second Dan. Any discussion? Was there any other things we could do? Brain, yeah. Brainstorms as far as, I mean, Amy looked and yeah, that was really tried, the only. Um, not that really applied. It wasn't quick like trip, gas I guess. I was just going to yeah, say, you know. That would have been nice, but. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there was nothing like that. And, and they do, you know, have the little vacuum cleaners and all this yeah, other yeah, stuff. Yeah. But yeah. The, the, no, yeah. the Home Depot card is probably the best way for us to. Right. Cleaning I was supplies. just wondering more like the quick trip or something. That was our first yeah. thought too. That yeah. would have been nice. Or yeah. car washes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Any other discussion? Did we have a motion? Uh, yes, you. Yep. Andy. Andy. Okay. All in favor say aye. Two seconds. Amber. You second. Yes. Yep. Yeah. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? No opposed? Consider and possible action on Ken Reeves and Sarah Brandel Reeves application for annexation requests on parcel 0700286A to be annexed to the City of Wisconsin Rapids. I believe you have that in front of you. You've had it and had a chance to look at it. I believe the reason for it is their septic system has failed. And it's on a it's right in line with some of the other properties on Saratoga that are in the city now. So just a question, why, why is this before us? I mean, we're, we don't approve or disapprove of the annexation. Who does? We're, we're There's three we're things have to be met. Yeah. You must want to go, mm -hmm. they must want you, and it must be a continuous line. Right. Nobody else has any say in it. You, we, we could have, uh, uh, if there was multiple parcels, Bill, we could require that it go to a vote. Remember? Well, I, I'd like to see when when Zerfu, when Zerfu took that and, and created that subdivision, we had nothing to do with it. I sat on the board. Well, oh, did did nice we receive this from the city? Is that how it came to us? Um, this came from the city, and then I do get a questionnaire from the state. I just got that. I always have to fill that out after, and that asks on there whether it was approved mm -hmm. by the town. When there is a question referring to something about. I can pull a copy of it to see exactly, but that's what then I submit that to the state. So my understanding is it's just a formality. Whether we whether we do or don't, it doesn't matter. Yeah. We don't have yeah. to say. Obviously, right. we'd have the ability to say no. Then we'd have to go to court. Mm -hmm. And what is there to gain out of parcel that's in desperate need of yeah. you know, super service? And as Bill says, they got the three. Yeah. So it's just, so I'll make a motion that we approve the annexation. I'll second that. Motion by Dan, second by Andrew. Any other discussion? And I would say, too, another good thing about bringing it in front of us. We know what's happening. We also know, um, you know, we could even do a follow-up 
with the Wood County GIS system to ensure that the you know the lines are mm -hmm. all this paperwork is finally followed up to be correct. So I enjoy and like to see this. So thank okay. you for bringing that. Any other discussion? Arnie? Yes. Uh, from my, our standpoint, it's good for us to know when these parcel gets annexed because uh, a lot of times dispatch or us are the last to find out yeah. and it gets annexed into the city, but they still sending us the calls there. So this is a way of us being notified and also dispatch so that the proper jurisdiction is dispatched to that address. Can we, can we put that in place where you automatically notify him with us? Of the annexation, sure. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. probably that, what that, we should do is... That started under uh, Lisa's predecessor that any time there was an annexation, she would let us know so that the, uh, you know, so you that at that least we're it? aware and then I can forward it on to dispatch. Okay. When, when it actually, when the annexation oh, sure. actually happens. And I think this one, from if I remember on the map, it is the only one yeah. right in that. So everything else all around it is city. Right? They didn't want to annex. They, they opted to go out of the one, and there was like several of them at the same time. Billy, you got your hand again? Yeah. You know, I just say when Mariani went in, we were here. We never, we never okayed it or denied it or had a vote on it. Right? So I can call for the question. All in favor say aye. Aye. I'm not opposed. I'm opposed. Okay. And we'll move on oh, to yeah. 12, the June disbursements. Any questions on there? Hearing none, we'll move on to 13, operator's license applications. We did we have some? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. We have a Sierra Mankey at the store, Amanda Minch at Hoozles, and Lisa Onslaw. I'll make a motion to approve that. Motion by Bill? No second. Second Dan. Discussion? Hearing none, say aye. Aye. Thank you. Motion approved. Monthly reports from committees. Public Works. Rick handed you just a quick note of what they've been doing and uh, we have his full work that is over where somewhere down there. Yeah, okay. And I think what I'll do is I'll get a copy to then we can pass it down trait by trait by trait. But they're busy. We have those two roads that we were chip sealing. Those are both done. We're going to pick the gravel up pretty quick. And then we will, our, yeah, well, yeah, it's a public works. Our construction season will start sometime in the middle of August. They're going to do it from what I understand. We're going to try to get a firm date and then we'll send letters out to the residents to make them aware that it's going to happen. Any questions that I can maybe help with? Anybody with? 63rd Street, what with the ditch? Oh, yeah. The ditch. Is that what you were talking about? Uh, I don't know that. I don't even know that. Where 63rd Street would be. That's where I was trying to imagine. That way? It'd have to be on the south. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so the resident didn't have a deep enough ditch, and so they asked to come to dig it deeper? Maybe. Yeah. That would be nice. <laughs> Maybe. So remember this don't fill in your ditches. <laughs> Maybe. Very well. Anything else? Otherwise, we'll work to the Airport Commission. Uh, taxiway project is near completion. Rain has been de delaying the uh, final black topping. Uh, electrical work is on schedule. Uh, even with our rain delays, we expect it's going to be completed in time. And, uh, fuel sales are up significantly from the preceding months. Uh, jet fuel was up like 10,000 gallons. And, uh, Fuel sales were 69,000. We put 2,250 on ramp fees and 
what that is if a plane comes in and does not want fuel then because uh, of the size or the size of them they're mm -hmm. charged a, a fee to, for us landing and helping them and unloading the passengers etc cetera, etc cetera. so that's uh, thing. in the laboratory cart we have a portable cart that we haul out to and we can hook up to their their waste system drain it and refresh it up with some good blue stuff mm -hmm. and call out fees uh, currently our schedule does not have us open on Saturdays and Sundays so if a plane is coming in on Saturday or Sundays uh, we call somebody in it's a $75 fee that the airport charges for the labor to cover the labor okay. but the airports going to be going to seven days uh, a week I'm not sure what the starting date is but going through the golf season because really it's it's more of things that we're looking for people to come in and and some people will believe it or not bulk on a $75 call in fee so uh, I think the commission has made the decision we're going to be open seven to seven seven days a week for some of us. Does that clearly require more employees? No. No. They just won't work as many hours on other things but they'll both be under the less than 2,000 Thousand hours? Is it yeah. Any questions? Okay, no, I can tell you about aircraft. In uh, May, we had 42 piston engine in, uh, and this June was 41. In May, we had eight jets. In June, it was 46 jets. Uh, Turbo props was seven and it's 30 in this month and helicopters five and seven so we had pretty good traffic home. have you noticed anyone complaining about the noise level of no. jet traffic no. mm -hmm. a lot of the people that live there they're all they're all monitoring on flight aware when the planes are coming in they're outside watching the planes come in you know so i haven't had any complaints at all we have more complaints about the doing the the dump trucks working at 6:30 in the morning than mm -hmm. anything else, but that's pretty well, pretty much all done. Bill, what do you got? Recycling and solid waste. Anything well, for uh, us yet? Yes, I'd, I'd like to just give you the report. I, I didn't have it in the time, but also returned in the minutes. But there were 394 vehicles that were accounted for the drop off that went through it. Um, that was more than other years we had. We have I had 112 uh, gallons of oil that we put in the oil tank for the town. We had 50 tires that we collected that day. Two dumpsters of metal weighing 8,600 pounds or 4.3 tons. That's what we collected in wipes and uh, dehumidifiers and air conditioners and things like that. Two dumpsters. One dumpster of waste, this was non-recyclables, and 4,444 pounds, or 2.2 tons, at a cost of $262.81, and that was paid by TJ's Auto. In the electronics collection, we collected them this time, not for ODC, but we collected them for express recycling. They furnished a dumpster and we did fill that dumpster up with 35 printers, seven personal computers, seven of them, laptops, one, TVs, 59. And uh, just to let you know, there was one there that took four men to, to really put in. It was a huge TV. And of course, and also we paid out about $200 for the tire recycling. And that went to Paul's in Calendar, and one thousand two hundred and eighty dollars for express recycling, for recycling electronics that I mentioned above. Got Gold Reynolds uh, donated eighty dollars for their portable uh, uh, bathroom, and also I said the two hundred sixty-two dollars was donated by. And of course, we had that one incident there, and I apologize for that. But is what we will do is where we'll be meeting with Nick and get the proper papers for signing for people, and we'll watch our people a little more closer. 
All right. Any questions for him? Thank you. Planning Commission Patty? And we met last night. Is it in, fresh in your memory then? Yes, huh? it was fresh in my memory. Um, we, it was a, a, an approval for a swimming pool fence that would be within the setback area of the road right away. Um, and it would go in, if I recall, something like he needed nine more feet. So um, it, he had plenty of room in the, you know, in the area. He was situated on a corner lot, so the deviation from that um, <coughs> was, um, we had approved in our legislative meeting for that mm -hmm. corner lot, so it went through. And a neighbor came by um, that was a uh, neighbor to the person that's building the swimming pool, and they wanted to make sure that the fence went up, only because of the fact they have children also. So they were very happy about that. Mm -hmm. um, and then we spoke about the comprehensive plan, and um, the commissioners uh, put some in, gave some input to Wood County, Jason Grunberg, to um, as far as the questions that they would like to see in the survey. And I believe um, Wood County is going to have a preliminary survey uh, in the format to us August 14th, I believe, is our next meeting. So once the commission goes through that, then we will bring it to the town board to review it. And add, and subtract, add, add, add subtract, or whatever. Mm -hmm. That was it. That was okay. a great meeting. Any questions for legislative? We have not met. Public safety? Uh, we have not Andrew? met. Everything's going good. Economic development? Uh, we did meet. Um, it was really just a really open discussion about options of projects that the committee wants to work on in the future. Um, several projects were discussed um, and we've made decisions to kind of start putting together um, some plans for a few of them, um, starting to open up the, those doors. Um, some of the projects we discussed, I don't, all of them would be quite, this would be quite extensive, um, but was a walk path, um, connecting the walk path from the rapids to the Wazicha, uh, Lake Wazicha, making that accessible and easy to do. Um, the other one was uh, welcome signs um, was another one um, promoting the our SafeWise rating um, to local builders and uh, the um, realtors and stuff like that as well. Um, there were several others that we discussed as well. Um, any questions? No, I guess not. Thank you. We we will be continuing to meet on a pretty regular basis and yep. getting these things rolling. Wisconsin Towns Association meeting. We were the holders of it, and we had uh, people from the Wood County Rescue Squad uh, explaining the value of it because some people in the northern part of the county don't want to pay them. No. And yeah. we're, we're working with them to try to get maybe another branch of theirs possibly set up up there so they have a rescue squad north and a rescue south. south. We skipped Dan. Did? Hey, you have to <laughs> say that out loud. <laughs> well, there's a check behind it. Yeah. Anything on the WAT meeting? Otherwise, then I'll no, move back to public buildings. Well, <laughs> you got no, most. No. The desserts were very good at the WAT yeah. meeting. Yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> um, no, uh, public buildings, um, everything seems to be going pretty good right now. So everything's working. Yay. Buildings. I don't see personnel. Where is it? Oh. <laughs> You do bifocals. <laughs> Personnel, we did meet um, and we talked with uh, some of our uh, management team and have some ideas on. And we're going to look into on, uh, on updating our personnel handbook. With that, so. Okay, now, did I get everybody now? I think so. Tattletales. This is the glasses. Uh, re 15 is reports from individual board town members. Anybody? Go on. Line or William? Uh, yeah, I, I just have a thing for the board to consider. I, I, I'd like to see a kind of a every once in a while a special order of business at our meeting in which like for what was addressed here for the reassessment if we just had the assessor here just for 15 minutes, people could come to the meeting 
and you, we'd have it for 15 minutes only, ask their questions about it, and they, they would explain it. Same way with for the comprehensive plan, when we've gone through that, just, just, just to let people know what we're doing. When it comes time for a snow plow, and maybe we could have Rick or somebody here just talk about that if people have questions. But I just think it would be a good thing. Special uh, order of business. Special order of business. So each month would feature somebody different. Is that how you do? So th th that would be a little troubling as far as being able to post what the board's going to talk about, wouldn't it, though? Well, I'm just trying to see what the legality is over there. So what if just what if we did um, if we get a request in to put something on the agenda for them to specifically be there speaking about that? Say, for example. If any of the board members or the community would suggest having the assessor here previous to the posting of the meeting, we could arrange it if possible and maybe have that on there as a general special order business, just open discussion with the assessor in regards to concerns and the assessor might even be able to give a presentation a little bit about what they're doing or those things. I I think it's a good idea. I don't know what that would cost though. Be significant. Yeah, you're gonna have. Yeah, you're gonna have significant cost to have well, you got mileage. I mean, they're, they're, they're we, we have it every month at the county board meeting. It's a request from the chairman of the county board that some committee or somebody would like to come in and speak. It don't it don't cost us anything. We have people from the towns association explaining an issue that's going on. I mean, the county's association and come in and explain that. Right? I, I just think it's good because like Shirley had asked a question here about it and we could answer it, we couldn't answer it, whatever would happen. Is it part we of can have a special order of business and people would sometimes just come for that. Is, is it, it part of our contract to have the assessor show up no. to meetings at all? No. Okay. Just the uh, open, oh, comes open in book. here for open book. And that's basically a good time when anybody can come in, but typically he gets... Order of review, those are the only two? Yeah, he gets a couple, three people to come in and ask questions about their properties. And if they see a problem with them, they'll fix them right away. Mm -hmm. I said, I, I... I was in three different districts for assessing, and uh, whenever I would help out on the reassessment, we were usually called by the town board or the, or the city to make a presentation to the, to the board and to the audience. It's just something to consider. And okay. I just like it. Anything else? Yes, I, 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 Rick's report is concerning to me, and uh, I just wanted to say that with, okay. with all the water in the town and the water, that, that's another thing we could have. We could have somebody here from the DNR explain to us about why the water is so high, why people are having troubles, and. Uh, but here I see a ditch was put in at 39, 30, 63rd Street South at the request of a residence. I mean, wow. I didn't know you could come and request a town to dig out a ditch, you know, and things like that. I, and, and there is a lot of problems with drainage in the town. And it would be a good time to have somebody here to talk about that. Okay. Well, that's like it. Dan? Uh, no. no. Patty? No, thank you. Andrew? I don't know everything. No. Amy, got anything? No good words, Lisa? No. All right, the, uh, I'll take on that assessment answer. The best, of, to my knowledge, they'll, they're only going and they're knocking on doors if people are there. If nobody answers, I don't know what they're doing. They may, they may go back. Uh, they are taking pictures up from the outside of the homes. They, you are not required by law to let the people in your house. So in most cases, the answer we got was they're not going to ask to go into the house. They're taking outside pictures of the house and see what's changed. I spoke to John and if you're not home, they don't come back. <clears throat> they do their assessment from what they can from the outside. We have had some people call and want them to come in. So they want to make sure they don't miss them. So then we refer them to John if they want to try to, you know, set up an appointment when John happens to be in town, he can make sure he hits their house. And I don't know how he works it out. It'd be but. nice if they came and they left uh, something on the door or something that's saying, you know, we're in the area. Do you want us to, to look inside the house? You know, here's our number. Get a hold of us. Because what I'm afraid of, if they don't see what's there, then who's to say, well, you know, blah, 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 tick, tick, tick. There you go. <coughs> if it's assess anything you want to assess. I, I, personally, I'd rather have them come in and see what I have. 
then well, any yes. any of the uh, remodelings are caught up in those building permits and they wake off those building permits for that so if there's if there's window changes stuff like that they're going to see that but you know the, the age of the roof they're going to see that when they come around if it's a new roof or it's still the old roof does that add value for new roof i don't know if it does or not they'll give you a notice of increase in assessment and now they have to give you even if there's a decrease in your assessment and the reason why mm -hmm. and then that's why they have an open book so you can come and say whoa look what you did in this reassessment mm -hmm. and they will have a special program for reassessments so and what this one here is taking two years you know two years that, do, yeah. that, so that's going to be kind of confusing because people are going to get raises but it's not going to be on this year's taxes yeah it's, it's, it's all going to hit the same time yeah there's no all right, uh, did we answer that sufficiently? All right, I did get uh, calls from the town of Saratoga. Uh, Mr. Frank ask, asking if the town of Grand Rapids was going to open up the north side of Town Line Road. I said we haven't discussed it and we haven't had a re an official request from anybody. Are you talking for ATB? ATB, UTBs. Okay. Uh, and also I had the same uh, call for residents in the town of Grant wondering to know if we're going to open up the small section that's uh, from Railroad Street which and then to uh, South Park Road. Uh, they're trying to get ATB UTVs into the Kellner proper. I said we have not acted on it yet. In fact, not had any residents request anything from us so go ahead. I have a question on the county you do we have any jurisdiction in regards to it being a county highway or would that be a county decision or our decision the counties have uh, been have told uh, the municipalities that they're uh, take where they're turning over the responsibility for it. if you want it and the speed limit is big 25 mm -hmm. then you can approve it if you if don't it's want under 55 it can be allowed by state law is that correct? 35 miles an hour 35 yes. okay yeah but the ATV is going to only be 25, is that correct, Bill? No, 35. They can be 35. 35 mile an hour speed limit. Can you make them 25, though? UTV 25, or does it have to be 35? Well, if it's, so it's, if it's over 35, we can't even allow it. Right. It's a state law. Okay. All right, so I just let you know that I'm aware of it. Like I said, I've not seen any requests. I'm not sure where we'll go with this because it sure seems to be a hot button in a lot of areas. If I may ask, I, and I know, and I and I think this is wrong, but I know you're even getting calls from the chairman of the highway committee. Yeah, he had said that he had called you several times. Oh, well, I've talked to him off and on. Yeah, yeah, yeah about yeah. it, man. Wanting to know why you're not opening up. The I, said, the rest I don't of, think that's any of I the said, county's business. Well, no, <laughs> it's it's our ordinance. Our ordinance. Yeah. You gated everything, but that doesn't mean an ordinance can't be changed either. So is our practice going to wait until we receive We don't, we don't have a request from anybody yet, so mum's the word, though. Unless, unless any of you want to interact with me and you want to take it up and bring it to the board, then we would take it through legislative. All right, uh, public input, any more? Anybody else for two minutes? Speak to the board, boy, Shirley. Okay, I want two issues. I'd like to speak on this past issue. I think anytime you're thinking about opening up any of the town roads, only right and fair that the residents on those roads get notice and let them have their, their own input because it is us taxpayers that are paying the taxes and fixing the roads so I think people have a right to have their input so if it's town line or whatever or whatever street somebody thinks they want to open up I think the town board has as an obligation to inform these people and let them have their say on it. Number two, um, I would like to know, since I was involved on the 45th Street lighting with the gentleman that's a paraplegic that came here twice for a street light, what, what is the procedure to get a street light, and for anybody to get a street light? I mean, we went through all the hoops and 
I mean, that poor guy was here, and, and everybody except one supervisor is still on this board. And, you know, I thought, I, I would like to know what to tell this, this gentleman since I was involved and I went around and got the signatures to the petition because he is a paraplegic. And, you know, what, 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 can you, what should I tell that guy? He still wants a life down there because he confronts whenever I see him. Yeah. Well, I can't tell you what to tell you other than you can look at our ordinance that the ordinance says the ordinance was changed recently and it's changed uh, the procedures. The, the whole thing is though, if it's, if it's, we have to determine what we're looking at is what is the safety? That's one of the key things we're looking for is the safety for the reason for the light. Okay, well it's dark down there at that end. Well, it's dark, dark 30 in my house too. Well, I don't have any lights by me. Yeah. Well, and, I'm sure everybody else is the same thing. I, I don't have street lights. There's no street lights down in your subdivision. So I mean, it's these are three, three requests are from one, an accident standpoint. The second one was a, a school bus drop site. And the third one was a school bus issue. That's the ones that we approved. And I, I can only tell you that I've, I have my own safety light. Oh, you know, and I, I would like to get in on this because those things were proved because the people that live right across the street said that they had to walk their kids to the bus in the morning because it's because there was no light down there. There was a serious accident. A person turned out to be a paraplegic because he thought that when he thought he was on 48th Street and he hit those trees and and stuff like that. There was accidents down there. There was a pole there. But as what one of the supervisors said, do you know what? If we allow this, there will be people lined up at that door that have street lights all over this town. And I'll tell you what, they're lining up. All right. And he ain't got his light. You're, uh, you're out of order. Is there anybody else wishing to speak? Go ahead. Uh, out here in the corner, oh, sorry. Oh, yep. different corners. I rode right in the motorcycle. And that's an accident waiting for a place to happen. Yep. Not just there, but other places. I just tore my knee up a week ago, a couple weeks ago, but anyway, uh, on Deer Road, or on 64th Street, uh, you already picked, I heard you mention. Yeah, we're going to pick the gravel up, up soon now. I, I go all the way around, I don't. Yeah. We're, we're going to my son's house uh, a couple years ago, and you put those uh, big poles along the, the road where mm -hmm. they're out. Could you put them out here? Maybe idiots will realize. <laughs> You don't cut those corners like that. That's what keeps bringing that gravel back out on the road. Yeah, you what any corners like that? They just what we've been told is the county is going to upgrade that corner. They're even talking about putting curb and gutter right there too. They'll but then they'll just go over the top of the curb. <laughs> mm -hmm. So but no, I've uh, uh, numerous corners like that where there's gravel, uh, being gravel on motorcycles. Uh, they don't get along very well. All right, anybody else? Item 17, establish the next agenda. Anybody think got specifically? If not, talk to us later. 18, motion to adjourn. I'll make a motion.